Jackie Stewart, we have moved inside so often, and you and I have worked together for, I think, 10, 12 years. Yeah. We've had races that are lopsided. We've had drivers come in here. I think of Senna. I think of Mansell that have won virtually every race. It's at least a little more competitive this year. This year's been very good. At the beginning of the season, we had, in fact, the Williams cars pretty dominant, and Damon Hill was leading that pack. Since then, however, Schumacher's had a resurgence, and the Benetton has really been performing well. So it's an open season right now. We're only really not a quarter, well, I suppose we're a quarter way into it now, and I think it's going to be a very competitive season. It's far from being over. It's not a question of a Schumacher, uh, you know, role. It's on for, for full season, I'm sure of that. I know you love to talk about the Scottish drivers. How about David Coulthard? A quick word. Very impressive. I think he's a great young driver with tremendous future. All right, David Coulthard, a man to watch with Williams today. A tradition here at CBC is Barry Gill's walk down the grid. Barry, it is all yours. Well, down here on the grid, there's some very anxious faces. We can feel spots of rain. People don't know whether it's going to be wet or dry. Under these heaters here are slick tyres for Michael Schumacher. And most of the team managers, believe it or not, have been running up to see what Michael's on. And as a Goodyear man told me, if slicks are good enough for Michael, they're good enough for anybody. Schumacher is, of course, just like last year on pole position, and last year, of course, he won. The difference this year is he sits here as world champion. He's won three races this year. Can he be the first driver to win the Canadian Grand Prix back-to-back? -back? The tyre decision and the weather could be decisive. Second on the grid, and of course, second in this race last year, is Damon Hill. Also looking very anxious about the weather, but Damon, Jackie and Brian is on the best side of the grid for weather. It's actually drier on this side than the other. Damon took second place in last year's World Championship, which he lost by just one point. But he's already won two races this season in Argentina and in Italy. So the duel is on again, the German against the Englishman. Now let's go to his teammate. And it's very, very hard to believe that this is only David Coulthard's 14th Grand Prix. The young Scott has already claimed a pole position and two second places. Frank Williams made the controversial decision to choose David instead of the more experienced ex-champion Nigel Mansell. So far, it looks as if he made the right decision. Fourth place on the grid to cheer all Ferrari fans is the likeable Austrian Gerhard Berger. He's one of only two past winners of the Canadian Grand Prix. That win was scored in the McLaren. But for the past two and a half years, Gerhard has been helping Ferraris return to form. He's Five third minutes. in the World Championship. He's won four third places this year. And he's probably one of the nicest people in the sport. His teammate is John Alesi, who today celebrates his birthday. And there could be no better present for John than to win this race, his first Grand Prix win in Ferrari number 27, the car we remember as Gilles Villeneuve's car. This will be John's 91st bid for a victory. The Ferraris are getting better and better. John has scored two second places already this season. Can he go one better today? Completing the third row of the grid, we go over to Johnny Herbert, the young Englishman. And Johnny has his best ever chance this year to show his true ability as a partner to world champion Michael Schumacher. His response has been excellent. Johnny was second in Spain, he's got fifth place in the championship, but he's still to score points in Canada. Will today be the day? It's perhaps strange to see a red and white car so far back on the grid. Seventh position for car number eight, and this is Finland's Mika Hakkinen. He must be the youngest McLaren team leader since the great days of Emerson Fittipaldi. He's only 26, and he's trying to give this famous team its first win since 1993. Last year, you may remember, Mickey was seventh. Now from an, a Finn to an Irishman, a very popular, hard-charging Irishman, Eddie Irvin. The 29-year-old man from Dublin spent four years racing in Japan before his fellow Irishman, Eddie Jordan, persuaded him to come to this team. They're looking for their first points here since 1991. But I today wouldn't bet against it. Three minutes. Teammate, of course, 
is Rubens Barrichello. Like his fellow Brazilian Emerson Fittipaldi, he began his career in go-karts. He won the British Formula 3 Championship in 1991 when he was just 19 years of age. He's still only 23. This has been an unlucky season for him so far. He's still looking for his first points. But remember this year, the Jordan is powered by the Peugeot engine. They're expecting great things. This is car number seven, the second McLaren. And sitting in it is Mark Blundell. He replaces Nigel Manson, so there's a tremendous pressure on him. But the 29-year-old Englishman has more than repaid the faith of the team. He scored points in Monaco and Brazil. This, by the way, will be Mark's fourth Canadian Grand Prix for four different teams. Let's go over now to see the French driver Olivier Panis in the Ligier. This will be the 22nd Grand Prix for Olivier. The Ligier team now has Mugen Honda engines and Olivier finished sixth in Spain. But that's the only point scored by the team so far. Remember that Jack Lafitte won here for this team in 1981. Can we expect a repeat performance soon? Michael Schumacher isn't the only star from Germany. This is Heinz Harald Frentzen, who has finished in the points three times so far this season. And their results have really cheered the Sauber team, who have swapped their Mercedes engines for Fords. Heinz Harald is 28 years old, and he's regarded by many people in Germany as an extremely exciting prospect. And the Sauber team don't pick drivers lightly. If you notice, he too is on slicks, so it slicks all the way down the grid so far. Let's have a look at car number nine. This is Gianni Morbidelli. He's in his second season so far for the Arrows team, which now has the Brian Hart V8 engines. That noise means that the engines are about to start to be taking the heaters off. So now, Brian, it's back to you and Jackie on the studio for a very intense grip. Barry, thank you very much. This will be the smallest starting field here since Monaco, actually, in 1994, Jackie, as it is not a complete field as it has been in previous years. We take a look on board with the Ferraris. Ferrari, there's Gerhard Berger. Berger won here for McLaren in 1992, and Ferrari trying to win for the first time here in Montreal since Alvaretto in 85. As I mentioned at the top of the show, though, Ferrari did win in Germany last year. 